What are you watching, Mike? I'm watching the dream. Um, I want to be a doctor when I grow up so I can cure you. Sure, I will expect you to become a doctor and cure me. But also, I want you to help and save people's lives who are unfortunate to go to the hospital to be cured. Okay, mom. I will also help other people so that I can save many other people's lives. Mike, don't worry about me. The doctors and nurses here in the hospital are taking good care of me. So you should take care of yourself and focus on your studies to become a doctor. Okay mom, two more years and I will be a doctor. And I will cure you. So wait for me till then. Sure, I know you can do it so I will wait for you. Just so you know, I'm so proud of you Mike. I love you. I love you too mom. Hi, can I get a copy of the running bill of patient Mara? Okay, sir. Please wait. Sure, no problem. Here is the bill, sir. How can I earn money to pay the hospital bill? Should I get a job? Hi, are you guys still hiring for a store clerk? Yes, we are. Do you want to apply? Yes. I would like to apply. You're hired. Since we are short of staff, you can start tomorrow. Really? Thank you very much. Mom? How are you feeling? I am fine. How about you? By the way, you look so tired. I am fine. I just did some schoolwork. I'm so sorry, son, that you have to take care of me and when you are busy in your studies. It's okay, mom. I should be the one to thank you for raising me alone without a dad. I love you, son. I love you too, mom. Excuse me, is that you, Mike? Sana? It's been a long time. I have not seen you in the neighborhood. Um, about that, I'm not living there anymore. Where do you live now? I just rent a small room nearby. Because a year ago, my mom passed away with cancer, and due to the large amount of hospital bill, I needed to sell our house and even stop studying. To work in order to pay the bill. I am so sorry to hear that, but why don't you continue your studies? Well, my mom was the reason why I wanted to become a doctor. But since she is gone, I have no more motivation. Will your mom gonna be happy with the situation you are in? Listen, Mike, even though your mom is already gone, there are people who have the same situation as your mother. And maybe the one that can cure them is you. Thank you, Sana. Sana, can you come with me tomorrow in my graduation? And also, I have something to tell you after that. Sure. But what is it that you're going to tell me? Can we save it for tomorrow? <laughs> okay, no problem. Sana. Remember, I have something to tell you, right? Oh, yeah. What is it? Well, first, I want to thank you for all the things you have done for me. You are the one who supported me the most after my mom's passing and one of the reasons I finally achieved my dream. You're making me nervous. 
Sana, will you be my girlfriend? Yes! I'm just waiting for you to say it. Oh, really? I love you, Sana. I love you too, Mike.